Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at CMG, Alta, NVIDIA, Tesla, Gilead, IBB, and MCD. We looked at these yesterday, let's go over them again. So we talked about CMG that we had big resistance around the 443.73, then we had a gap fill right here around the 441.70 or so, right, right in there. I don't know the exact gap fill, I could find it, but I'm a little bit too lazy. Anyways, the 443 area is a good area. The high of the day was 441.20. We did take this short after hours yesterday. We covered at around 432. We took a short again from 440, covered at 436. Two nice day trades for some pretty good cash on these. We, we don't load the boat on this one, but we take enough. So if you get a couple bucks out of this thing, you make some decent money. So daily, we're coming into some resistance up in here. It needs to recapture this high, the 443.73 to continue up. And then you have big resistance around the 200 moving average and these high pivots around 461 or so. Let's get into the weekly chart. Weekly chart as well. If you take the low pivot and the high pivot, you're going to have big resistance at a 382 at 445 as well. So there is a ton of resistance coming up as well as the gap fill. You also have a breakdown area too. So whoever bought up in here on this up move, they got left holding the bag. They put it in their face, came back up, and now the bag holders... If it were me, I'd become a seller and just take the profit of break even and thank you very much. So this needs to start moving up on volume as well. <clears throat> if it does get above the 445 area, 450 area is going to be good resistance. Then ultimately you have the 750 or the uh, 50 retrace at 463 and then the 618 right here at 482. Then you have a 50 MA curling down as well. Unfortunately, this thing's moving on news now, so anything can happen. But let me tell you, a lot of people don't like old Billy Boy. So I would not doubt if this thing turns around on resistance up in here and just starts dumping, and that's just because. And it, 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 it will be funny, just like the VRX. They'll come in and they'll just send it down, send it down, send it down until he can't take it anymore. He'll add more, then they'll send it down in his face a little bit more. But you know what? Billy's just a little bit um, out of control, shares his positions like he's the big man on the hill, and eventually they're going to take his ass out. Monthly chart. Monthly chart, we're back in the resistance. We have a trend line coming from these this pivot and another pivot down in here. So a, a lot of resistance up here. This thing needs to get some momentum going and get, get back up above that 443, 445 area, and then possibly it might go up. The next couple days is going to be very, very pivotal on this stock. Again, it needs to keep going. But remember this trend line that I had in here. If it does not get above that trend line, or, or confirm above this area or get above uh, 450 uh, or 443.73, then man, you know, it's, it's going to have some problems up here. And then you have the 200 moving average, which it hasn't hit. Wow. Whoa. Look at this. Look at that. They got to, they got to blow to get it going. Wow. It hasn't hit the 200 moving average in a long, long time. So that's going to be a wall of resistance. So either way, it is moving up on the news. You got to take it for what it is. And and play it and see what happens. But ultimately, 443.73, you're looking to recapture and get above. But then you're starting to get into the 460 area of resistance. All right, let's look at Ulta. <clears throat> Ulta actually caught a bid, which was pretty nice. Wow, look at that. So if, you, if you're long Ulta, you better be careful on this one. We talked about a possible retrace in this area, this area, and possibly shorten it again. But this is setting up in a bearish pattern. We have five days of consolidation. And two days left on the week. If we get on Friday and we get this nice consolidation, Friday or Monday, this thing could possibly start selling off. You have to be careful. And if it does, it's going to 228, the, the, the window. And then we're going to fill the gap down here at 213. So if you're trying to buy this thing on the dips, be very careful. You did recapture the 618 yesterday and it closed below it. We're down almost three bucks today. It's just not healthy. This was, let's go, let's go to the weekly real quick. This was a high flyer. We are still above the 250 retrace, but man, barely. This is a weekly close. We're going to see if we could close above this. If this thing starts to dump out on the weekly and closes below the 20, we are definitely going to the 228 area. <clears throat> I'm going to get to that window. And that's also the 382 as well. We'll see how it reacts when it hits that. But even on the weekly, that's ugly. You have follow through from last week from this big red outside candle. And man, if this thing follows through one more time and we could get the three bar surge into that area, that would be a good for a quick bounce. But but again, the high flyer, look at this. When it gets this far extended from the 20, it's going to come back in. So far, so good. This nice engulfing uh, 
uh, reversal candle here. Almost, almost took out the whole uh, top here on this one, but uh, that's telling me lower prices. So just be careful with Alta. It is a high flyer and it's ready to come in. Here's another high flyer. This one too. This one's just flat out ridiculous. That's a monthly chart, way too extended. At 34 bucks to 20 MA, this, this one will come down. It's just going to take a little bit of time. But this one was nice. We had a 93 uh, cent sell off today. They're still holding the 20 MA because that, that's all they got to do. Just keep it above the MA and everyone thinks it's bullish. The weak TA guys, as long as it's above the MAs, it's great. Well, yes and no. You know, we did have a bullish pattern here. They tried to pop it up and never recaptured the high. Came back in. We have a micro uh, bullish pattern now, but we fell right on top of the 20 MA. So that that's um that's suspect to me. <clears throat> and if we, the market's the breakdown. Sorry about that. I. I got allergies are killing me. It's raining here in Arizona and I'm dying over here. So anyways, if this thing closes below the 20 MA, you better look out. We're going to go right to 60.69. Then we're coming in to fill this gap around 59.74. Then I think we can go right to this 20 MA around 56.74. We're going to see how it comes in from there and sets up. If it sets up like Alta in that nice bearish pattern, expect lower prices. If you are a bull, it needs to stay above this. But let me tell you, on the weekly, the weeklies even stretch. Now you're getting some pretty good consolidation in a bullish manner, but at the highs, these patterns have a tendency to fail. And if it does, 50 bucks, man, here it comes. And it will come straight down and close below that, and then we'll start, you know, heading south. It cannot stay that long for that much time. I mean, especially this, eight months up, and at my level 62.37, that's what we're holding. Pretty, pretty amazing. I had that level for a long time. You know, you got you to gotta play these even numbers, 50, you got to add, you got to add. This one uh, just kept going and going and going. You know, at one point, like I said, we're going to replace Netflix with NVIDIA because Netflix we don't like anymore, you know. It's, we got to keep the fang going. But, yeah, this is just a stretch chart. It will come in. It's a monthly chart, so monthly charts usually take a little longer to play out. Let's look at Tesla, everyone's favorite stock. <clears throat> so on the daily... Talked about this uh, we talk, in my videos. We've been talking about this bearish pattern, bearish pattern. If we get below these MAs and confirm, we're going down. We did hit this pivot. Look, check this out, though. We did hit that pivot. I mean, they had news granted that, you know, just like Chipotle going up. But we did hit that and bounce. I was expect, I was hoping for a bounce up and then reshort it and coming into here. But, man, it came right back in. But look what it did, though. Oops. Filled the gap. Bounced up. Came back into the uh, 382 Reese trace. And then, boom, we're going right back down. We're right on top of this gap again at 201.77. Actually, we closed a little bit below it. We'll see how it reacts tomorrow. If the markets start to sell, all these stocks I'm talking about today, they're all going lower. Don't care what they are, what name they are. The SPY, the IWM, the Q start dumping out. These will go lower. Weekly chart. Weekly chart, man, good sell bar right here. We blow this trend line. Unless we recapture this trend line and start moving up, this is this this is ugly. This is a nice breakdown here. I think we're going right back to 188, and if the market starts selling, we're going right back and we're going to fill this gap right around that 150 level. You know, this thing's going to fall like a rock, just like the rest of them. Monthly chart, we did have a pie or a pennant. We are staying in between it. I didn't count this because that was a nice crash. You know, to to come in like that. I mean, I guess you could, but we're actually actually you could do this if you want a little bit of support down here as well. You can you can connect that pivot. It's just it's a long tail. You know, I like this. It starts breaking down. We're holding the 618, but we'll go right to the 179, 180, and then possibly down in here around the 150. 150, this area might not be bad, but we'll see how the spy and everything else react. And if that's still dumping, then now uh, you got to be careful with these guys. Let's look at Gilead. <clears throat> Gilead up 34 cents. They're trying to hold the 50 MA. That's the monthly. Let's go to the daily. All right, so we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars down. We had a little bit of consolidation, came down. Uh, I don't think there's really anything down. I mean, you got a couple little pivots in this area. But uh, just a little bit of overselling, a little bit of people just getting the heck out, saying, you know what, I'm done. Oh, my gosh, what's happening to Gilead? And then they bounce it up, get some people to get back into this thing. If you're bullish, you need to recapture this moving average and this moving average. Then I think we could go up and fill the gap and then possibly to 200. If you're long this one, you got to take it off here. And I would definitely turn it and short it, but we'd still have to wait for pattern or see how this thing moves up in this area. If you are bearish, you're looking at getting below the low of 76.77 or 67, I guess I have the 52-week low. If you get below that and confirm, then I think it's heading down to 
There's got to be some gaps in this area, but ultimately maybe 63.28 if we really start to dump, 63.61, somewhere in that area. But that has a long way. But like I discussed before, if the SPY, the IWM Qs, and all those start dumping, this could definitely get to 63.61. Weekly, if you're, a, if you're a bull, you need to get above this breakdown bar. I, I would say right in here, but ultimately you have to get above the 20 MA. The 20 MA is curling down, not good. That's telling me that if this go, runs in the price and this sets up in a pattern, this will push this one lower. Until we get it back above the 20 MA, which is around 82 bucks, it's a it's a bear setup right now. This, this is nice consolidation. I would have loved to have seen this one a little bit more and then price run into it after a bull or a bearish pattern. But we broke down a little early, but it's setting up in another inside bar, possibly going to move lower. Monthly. Monthly, again, at that monthly close, so we have a couple weeks left, it needs to get above the 50 MA to get a little momentum to start moving up again. If this one does happen to move up into the 8640 area and then recapture the 7 or the 50 retrace at 9350, this should curl down. This is a dead on short up in this level. Again, got to keep an eye on the on the other uh, indexes, the SPY, the Qs. I know I keep saying that, but I want to make sure you guys understand. Everything will be a market trade. Those sell, look the hell out. Everything is going to dump. I don't care what it is, what name it is. And if it's up that day or up on earnings and the markets continue to sell, it will end up going down, period. Uh, IBB. So the IBB caught a little bit of a bid. It was up two bucks today. I think it was up as high as four, though. It, it, it's, it's trying, let me tell you. It's trying to come off. I mean, it captured this, captured the 50 MA, holding, holding. When these things uh, crossed over, that's when we got the little bit of a rip up. If you are bullish in this, in this uh, ETF, if you want to look at it that way, it is an ETF, you need to get above the 50 MA and you need to continue up. Let's see where it retraced today. It's got to be a 3A2 or the 250. Let's take it from here. Yeah, so we're into the 350 retrace. We're into this little bit of a trend line. It needs to recapture the 20 MA. If it does not get up there and confirm, then we're definitely going down. If it does, then you have the 618 and the 750. You get into the 294 area, the 293, somewhere in here, you start adding shorts again. If it gets back to 300, you do it again. If it gets above and confirms, you stop out. If you are bullish, you want to start tightening up your stops up here. Again, if the markets dump, this will start moving lower. Again, this is, you know, technically it's okay. We're getting a bounce because you have some support down in here, but we are into the 382. The markets are floating up on no volume. Keep an eye on this one. This is a daily, so it's still kind of bearish, but we are holding up with the MAs. If you're bearish, you want to close below these. And I think we can hit double bottom around 278. We're definitely going to fill the gap of here. At 276.56, and I think we could come into these pivots here around 265 to, to 267 or so. And uh, let's look at the weekly. Weekly, same thing. We need to capture the 50 MA. It is ugly. If this thing closes below this candle, then we confirm below the 50. Then we're looking to recapture the uh, get below the 20 MA and then continue down from there. If you're bullish, you need to get above the 50 and try for this high pivot around 300 again. This is, this is slightly bullish, but now it's starting to set up in a macro bearish pattern, so be careful with the IBB. This thing can dump. But this is the pattern I'm really worried about. Great inside bar, bearish pattern. We're starting to do a micro bull right here, but if this closes below this level on a monthly close, this is going down at least to 250, 250 area, 253 area, or the 50 MA. Let's get right into McDonald's. MCD. We're going to just go over this one real quick. This one here, gosh, I love, you know, this, this was starting to set up real, real nice in an inside bar. They popped it up. A little topping tail. It's not at the top, so I can't say it is, but I'll take it. Some bears came out, pushed it right back down. Now we're consolidating. I still want to see it try getting below the 20. They held it up on light volume. We captured the 20 again. We're definitely filling the gap and we're going down. If you're bullish, you need to recapture the 50 the um, 618 here and get above the 200 and then possibly we might go up running out of time here but look at this inside bar they try to capture it bam rejected coming right back in this is bearish and on the monthly two this one was another stretched one where it's coming back into uh home base which is the 20 ma all right guys that's it for these thanks for watching my videos god bless see you on the charts